This video is going to show you how to uh, work with your projects that you create in Visual Studio. I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to make a Windows Forms application from the Visual Basic group. You'll see that you get a name and location when you do that. You want to give your name something descriptive. You can change the default location through the Browse button if you want to, or you can leave it the same. I don't have either of these boxes checked. I'm working in Visual Studio Professional 2012, but other versions will work uh, very similar to this. I'm not going to go into any of the design stuff in this video. I'm just going to go into um, how you save your project, get in the habit of using that Save All button. And you can right click on your solution, and it's not cut off in my screen recording here, but there's an option there to view this, or to find it in the File Explorer. If you have that option, that's the easy way. The other way is to go through your computer and go to that default location. And you'll see that there's a lot of different files and folders in a Visual Studio project. Uh, you need to move that whole thing. Um, the easiest way to do that when you need to upload for your homework is to create a zip file. So you can right click on the project and send to compressed zipped uh, folder. That makes a zip file. Now, if you want to uh, open up your project again, you can click on the SLN file or the VBProj file. If you don't see your file extensions, uh, you might have to configure that in Windows. In Windows 8, you can do that through the View menu, and there's checkboxes to show the file name extensions, and you want that. Um, so clicking on the SLN or the VBProj file will open up that project back in Visual Studio. Uh, if you want to move your project to a flash drive or to a different uh, partition on your hard drive or something, you can move the, the whole project folder itself. You don't have to create the zip file, but uh, the zip file you could move as well. Then you would just need to extract it or unzip it uh, after you move it.